I don't know if this is a me thing. I'm going back to smell. I'm like, I, I, maybe I have been talking to Maylin for too fucking long. Uh, you definitely have. Yeah, because like, okay. You ever, you ever met like someone who smells like your parents? What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, it's like the least soundtrack. But that's yeah. a biological thing that we've been programmed to not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we don't want to inbreed. Yeah, 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 so exactly. So if you smell like parents, you're like disgusted by it. Yeah, yeah. I've like, I'm pretty sure there's like a study that like your smell can tell how close you are genetically to yeah. a person because like the less- Dude, I just crush this guy in chest. <laughs> the, less, the, less, Who asked? the less in common you have with their genes, the better they're gonna smell, right? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where this came. Oh, from. this guy got. So fucked. does so the 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 million dollar question is: Does Sydney smell good too? Sydney smells great, which is great because that That's means we. Great. Because that means this is gonna sound like the most serial killer fucking talk. Because that means genetically, great. we we are we are very genetically diverse. <laughs> but, <laughs> she smells like apples. <laughs> Thank God you smell good. God, I gotta stop talking to Maylene. <laughs> You've been talking to Maylene too much. I have, I have. I Holy do. fuck. <laughs> that's uh... But like, that's that's like the trouble of like long distance relationship because I had like so many anxieties. Mm. Obviously I was like very, very excited to like meet Sydney, but like there are, this was like my very first long distance relationship. So there were yeah. just so many things that I was used to in like a real, like an in, not a real person, like an uh, close, <laughs> like, a <real> <laughs> like a close distance relationship. That I'm like, there are so many gaps in my knowledge that I would feel very, very comfortable about yeah. approaching this wrong long distance relationship. I'm not, I'm like, kind of just have to hope those gaps that aren't filled are just like good. You know? how, how how long were you in a long distance with Sydney for? It was like a year or something. Oh, that's not even that bad. Yeah. Two yeah. and a half years, boy. Two and a half years. How did you do it, man? How well, did you do the it? The way we did it was we were both established YouTubers at that point. <laughs> and so we could work from anywhere. <laughs> so there would be moments where I'm just like, yeah, I'll be in Vegas for three months. Yeah. Sure. I'll come and live with you for three months. And I did that multiple times. Like I, I think over my entire life, I probably spent over a a year and a half of my life in Vegas. That's why you fucking hate Vegas. Yeah, that's why I fucking hate Vegas. <laughs> I've seen every corner of that place and in conclusion, it's a bit of a shithole. <laughs> Sorry, Vegas fans, but- It's all coming out it's now. It's all coming out now. Like I would <laughs> not, you would not, uh, you would not catch me living there. That's cause you don't gamble. So. No, I don't. I don't gamble. I don't really care about that whole side of things. I'm there's a couple of like, there's a couple of great restaurants there that I'll fucking love to go back to every time I go back to Vegas. But other than that, it's just like, whatever, you know? <laughs> I'd rather be somewhere else in the US. Yeah, I mean, I I think Vegas was really, really fun when we went there on tour, but I think that's just because you're there with the boys and yeah. you're on holiday. Yeah, you know, it's a completely different experience. We've talked about Vegas in the daytime and that was like, I never knew a city could look <laughs> so fucking different. Yeah. <laughs> look who I beat. Oh, you beat Sasuke? You beat Sasuke? You Sorry. beat Sasuke? Yo, that's I, your I, rating? I, I, uh, I thought your rating was higher. Yeah, I, I've been well playing after I've drank on the set, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I haven't played in ages, and I threw a lot. This so. is the most disorganized trash this episode. <laughs> We're just talking I, I about long Sasuke distance. After a, meanwhile, our host is uh, playing chess. I clapped Sasuke after a bottle and a half of wine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dog shit, rating, no, bro. Of course you did. I, I, mean, I had zero mistakes, zero inaccuracies, zero blunders. One great move. Thank she you, Chess.com. Thank you. <laughs> How, that's how that's many, why you uh, came second in the chess special. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the time this is aired, I've, I'll, I will have also wiped out of pog champs and lost miserably, but at least I had fun. That's good. Do you think you're gonna do well for that? We're, we're, gonna, no. we're gonna age this episode. Fuck no. <laughs> I haven't played chess in fucking forever. <laughs> what do you mean? You just played it. But I'm playing against Saikuno and Jarvis and I think they're even worse than this. <laughs> Dude, that's easy W. Uh, look, look at me do, say do, this do, now, do you know what their ratings are? I, I can't wait for this. I think Sakuna was 200 and Jarvis was like- Are you serious? I think, yeah, and I think, Char actually, I think Jarvis is pretty good. I think Jarvis like, I'm thinking around- You were on fucking Jarvis's podcast, weren't you? Yeah, that was on the soundboard. I found out the other day. <laughs> what do you mean you found out like I hit it? It just, <laughs> ran, it, it just randomly popped up. What do you mean you found out like I didn't tell you? <laughs> well, first of all, first of all, uh, I heard you went on another podcast. First, How no, no, dare this you like all, cheat on our podcast? This, this, is like, this is like when you're in a married relationship oh, for like 10 years and you're like, what were you doing around that girl's house the other day? Let me fucking finish. <laughs> First of all, uh, two other boys. Who first of all, I want to. First of all, I want to apologize to Jarvis. I didn't even know you had a podcast. Second of all, you didn't tell us. 
What do you mean? I, you didn't bring. No, you didn't need to tell us everything. Ask. I need yeah. to know everything you're doing. <laughs> I do so much <laughs> shit. What do I you know. Mean? <laughs> tell me everything you're doing. <laughs> you're on the Jarvis podcast, and I ra- fan- randomly <laughs> found it, and I was like, oh shit. He- he was on the Jarvis podcast. Yeah, Jarvis is- uh, That's pretty dope. Jarvis Jordan are great guys. I like, I like him a lot. Said that, like, why didn't you tell us? Why we didn't need you to tell us? We need to know everything that you're doing. I need to what know- What is your entire everything schedule? Everything you're doing. Give me your schedule oh, right God. now. I need to know everything you're doing. Uh, Hold on. What? You're starting up another chess game. <laughs> I've just won. Yeah. Um, I remember I was- uh, So I met I met Jarvis at- um, Jarvis Jordan at chess boxing. Mm. Yeah. And- Jarvis, who I'd obviously, I'd seen his videos before. Yeah. I, I didn't know if, you know, because with a creator, you Excuse never want to, <laughs> wow. With a creator, you never want to assume they they know of you. It's kind of, it's we, it's kind of weird if you do, and then they it's very don't. Awkward. And it's, so you just assume they have no idea who you are, which is yeah. a good way of doing it. And you mm. talk to them like a normal human being. Yeah. Uh, but I, I knew of Jarvis and, and uh, Jordan because I'd watched their stuff for, and I thought they were very funny. Uh, and I was speaking to Jarvis and Jarvis just started geeking out in this Irish bar in LA, about Evangelion to me. And I was like, dude, <laughs> I know two guys who would love to be here right now, but not me. I don't give a fuck Where, about Evangelion. When are we getting Jarvis on the podcast? That's, whenever he wants to. Whenever Jarvis, Jarvis yeah, comes yeah. to Japan, bro. A uh, really nice guy. And then Jordan, who I'd also seen from the videos who I met that night as well. Mm. And I was like, Jordan, where the fuck are you from in the UK? Cause you sound so posh. Uh, and he was like, I'm from yada 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 area. I was like, yeah, you fucking posh boy. Uh, and he sounds so, so well spoken. I'm so jealous. I wish I, I wish I sounded as one tenth as eloquent as he does. Yeah. Uh, and they're both so funny. Uh, they're really nice guys as well. And he was making bomb lattes. He was making the whole latte art by himself oh, in his house. Oh shit. It was crazy. He went hard. Damn. I, I, I let the machine do it. There's no artwork. <laughs> it just, it pours. But I no. like that though. I don't need, I don't need artwork and I'm drinking, but it was nice that someone else made the artwork for me. What kind of artwork was it? He's doing the classic, the like hot, the plant thing that everyone does. With the oh, girl. the leaf. Yeah, oh. yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. But hey, not to knock him down, he's still doing no, it. I don't do that shit. That's yeah. just hard as fuck. I've tried Very doing impressive. it and I've fucking failed at it. Yeah, I mean that's why people get paid for that shit. And yeah, that's he's why. grinding his own beans, yeah. pressing his own bees with fuck the things. Yeah. I was like, it was like it was, it was amazing watching him do it. Hell yeah! It do, you know, do you know I've ruined like my previous apartment because of the coffee machine? What? We got, we what? got like we got like an espresso machine. This was before like the Nespresso. Yeah, we're like let's try getting an espresso machine. Uh huh. And I was just like, Did you say espresso. Uh, yes, espresso. I espresso. I, I can't stop saying espresso. Why do you say espresso? I don't know. What happened to your childhood? Because he's fast as fuck, boy. I, I was, <laughs> espresso. I, I was maybe dropped on the head. You know, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> actually, a mug training, actually. And that's, why, and that's when I started like anime, actually. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> It was a coin flip. It was a coin flip. You never became a brain surgeon. You said that, not me. <laughs> yeah. um, what, what was I trying to say? Yeah, we were either a Dragon Ball fan or an anime fan. <laughs> yeah. Um, we bought you like chose a, the right choice. <laughs> we bought an espresso machine. Uh, like uh, the cheapest one we could find, which obviously had no automation to it as well. So yeah. you needed to know what you were doing. Uh, I mean, I think there's benefits to not being automated. Yeah. There's a lot of. I'm just lazy and I don't want to deal with. Oh, it I'm time. sure there is. Um, but I learned what those benefits were uh, when I tried to make my first espresso uh, and espresso. Like, espresso. Also, we gaslit you one time. You said per- perspirate or something. Yeah. yeah, I found out it's a real word. Yeah, yeah you were you right, you were wrong. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I gaslit you. How dare you? Yeah, basically like I tried make, making my first and then I, you know, I was like, okay, I can follow the YouTube tutorial, put it in. I thought I locked it didn't properly lock. So what I get was high pressure coffee beans spewing fucking everywhere at high <laughs> temperature and it stains my white walls like oh, for like oh, ever. And oh, I'm like, oh, oh. I should not be allowed near this thing. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Dude, you watch this video? Do you watch uh, this, is, this is a YouTube guy, what's he called, James Hoffman? The guy who like talks in a very, it's so the coffee beans. I know that name. Actually. What? You know, there's the correct amount of grams to have yeah, in the yeah, coffee yeah. cup before yeah. you are meant to put it. I love watching him because he talks about coffee as, as, like it's a science. It's very impressive. I imagine it's like Tom Scott if he got into coffee. Um, it's very interesting. And I, I like to think that I care when I watch, but I, I really don't. I like the machine and I press the one button, but <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate that he cares a lot about it yeah. and that there is a difference. I just don't know. Mm. Yeah. He must drink an ungodly amount of coffee. I wish I was him. Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to discuss. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We were about a good, a good invigorating topic before we change. I, I cannot remember what we were talking about. Before. We were talking about <laughs> online relationships. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, And we yeah. just finished about Joey. What about you guys? You talk about yourself. I, I did talk about myself. Okay, I was-, I was Yeah, okay. we talking about how it's become outdated. What about you? Have you ever been a uh, long distance? Uh, have I ever been a long distance? Yeah, I have. When I was like 18. Okay. Yeah. How long did it work out? Like, did it end before you yeah, met IRL? Yeah, I fucking didn't. Because I was 18, I had no goddamn money. And uh, I couldn't- How did you meet her? Uh, voice acting. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, and it didn't work out well. Mm. Uh, and so uh, I was like, I'm over this. Doing this long distance thing. Uh, so I was over if it. If I can't smell you, it's game over. Small game, no game. So I, but then I, uh, I had like, uh, how many listeners did I have with that one? I had a few. And then like one of them I did show online and I pretty much was like, what's the fucking point of showing this online? I was like, I got, there's no point of yeah. talking about it or whatever. Yeah. Cause yeah. it, when we broke up, uh, people were like, oh, you still with that person? I was like, no, no, I'm not. Mm, why, did yeah. I, why did I put myself in a situation where I could even be put in the, like, they didn't even need to know anyway. Why do I care if some fucking Steve 81 cares if I'm in a relationship or not? I don't give a fuck. This must be before it's we before all Japan. met, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, How did you guys know I was dating Sydney? What do you mean? Oh, it's pretty fucking obvious. Wait, what the fuck? What do you mean? No, like- but it, wait, You sound like a paranoia guy. Like, okay, 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 I'm, 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 I'm a bit, I'm a bit drunk. Uh, when I'm, I I'm, found trying about, to I'm trying to remember okay. when- When like, I we went, found out about you, yeah, and this was roughly around the time where you hit me up. Yeah. It was like a little bit before then, that I looked into you and then I saw that you were going out with this girl called Sydney. And I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool. What I don't know, I don't what, know how like, I how did you know that? Was it a wiki or? What the fuck? I actually don't know how I knew. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think and I'm like, how? Yeah, when did you first announce or publicly? We never announced it. Yeah, how? <laughs> okay, yeah, now, 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 this, now this is bugging me. Wait, 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 wait. How, wait, how wait. did I know you how were going out with Sydney? Oh, shit. I, I met, no, you, okay. I met uh, you both. Okay, no. Yes, yeah, and you, so that yeah, helped. You, met, you, met so you knew we were dating beforehand, right? Yeah. How? Like, I don't fucking know how I knew. <laughs> no, actually, I think the day I found out was the day we met up IRL. Oh, was it? Because Sydney came along. Yes, she did. And then we went to the Izakai and karaoke. No, you 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 need to have known that because I that like I tweeted you being like, hey, here, you carry I, on. Like I get that you're in a long distance relationship. I can relate. I was also in a long distance relationship. You must have already knew that before because you replied to Sydney's tweet as well. Hold on, I hate to interrupt, but our host just left. Uh, it, that doesn't matter right now. Oh, okay. you go, you're going no, pee? No, no, no. I, I think I I think I found out because. <laughs> of you know, when we were having that DM interaction of like you saying like, hey, yeah. me, you must have said something along the lines of like me and my partner are in Japan right now oh, or something along those okay, lines. And so okay. I was like, oh, okay, you have a partner. And then when we met IRL and then I met Sydney and I was just like, oh, okay, that, this must be your partner. And yeah. then it was just kind of natural. Like, I think there was a part of me where I was like, this guy can't be single. <laughs> <laughs> He's got too much riz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, genuinely, anyone who's watching this, please answer my question for me because <laughs> I genuinely don't know when it became public that like I me and the fuck up. That was like me and Sid, yeah, yeah, me oh, like, <laughs> like I genuinely don't know when it happened or how you it happened. You must have or... mentioned it in the DM conversation we had before. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I just knew before I met you though. Yeah, like, I, 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 I yeah. just knew. I just cause like, I never like, I've, I was thinking about it when hearing your story. I was like, yeah. I've never made an official announcement that, hey, me and Sid Snap are dating. Um, well, that's because at that point, Sid Snap wasn't even like fully established at that point, right? Like she had made a couple of videos, sure, but like yeah. she kind of took like a big break in between, right? Yeah, I mean, she did a lot of voice acting and a lot of like online communities. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. That's how she like made her name and that's like how we met as well. Yeah. But like, I, I can't remember an, an ever a point where we kind of just announced that we were dating or anything. It and just kind of came naturally. It, it, like thinking back, I'm like, oh, everyone just knows. <laughs> just, like everyone knew and there was no point where people didn't know. I'm to, like, be, to be fair, that's probably the easiest coming from someone who had to make a whole fucking video around it. <laughs> yeah. To be like, by the way, if you didn't catch all the signs, Aki and I are dating. Like, <laughs> and there were a lot of people I remember when I released that video that were just like, no fucking way. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, cause I guess there's some people who weren't invested in- Yeah, you like, you know, you know, like on YouTube analytics, there's like the whole thing of like, uh, what percentage of males versus what percentage mm. of females yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, you talked about this. Yeah. yeah. Like it went, before I came out about Aki or before Aki and I even like met each other when we were still in long distance, I remember, I think like my split was like 50, 50 perfectly. 
It was like 50% male, 50% female. The moment That's pretty I came, good for talking about a fucking anime. Yeah, yeah. I was shocked. I was like, who are these 50% female? And then after uh, I came out- right, Well, you sound like you want to find them. <laughs> who are they? <laughs> who are they? They don't exist. Tell me where they are. And, but women who love anime don't exist. So, and then the moment I came out- What? About Aki, I think it dropped to like 80, 20. Which, in which way? <laughs> Male to female. <laughs> <laughs> like my female audience just was just like, all right, I'm done. And then just fucking left. And then all the dudes were like, my man, let's go. <clears throat> and then it's been 80, 20 ever since. So do you have- Shout out to the 20% women.